Aha, uh -huh. I bet you guys haven't seen this one before. A chorus of groans filled the interior of the SH-60 Seahawk helicopter. Though retired from active service, it did not mean the machine did not do the bidding of the U.S. government. Only this time, they had to pay for more than its manufacture and repair. While his private strike team endured the showboating of Jarman and his magic tricks, Captain Andrew Serrano watched the blackness of the world on the other side of that window. It was the usual way things progressed. Sherman entertained the team with his usual antics, all the while Serrano gazed out the window. Flying over the Indian Ocean at two in the morning, there was not much to see, just blackness. In a sense, that was better. The darkness consuming this side of the planet enabled the former army captain to visualize his assignment. He knew the kind of men their target surrounded himself with. All bad guys, all of whom with murderous history, exactly the kind of company their objective attracted. Armed conflict was inevitable. Serrano was no stranger to taking life, nor to close calls. Experience forged wisdom. The men went back and forth, with Jarman showing off his latest grand illusions that he learned on YouTube in his spare time. Most of the time it was some kind of pick-a-card type of routine. Today it had something to do with making an object seemingly disappear. They're all the same, you Houdini wannabe, Little protested. If you were really good, you'd change this guy's name into something a little more fitting, Chris Mary said. That got a laugh from the team and a groan from Little. The biggest member of the group, his last name led to the repeat of the same joke, which never got old, not even for Serrano, though he would never admit it. Jarman, a Marine of eight years' experience, now a private contractor with six, all under Serrano's employment, scratched his thin red beard while he waited for an opportunity to resume showing off. He sat in a seat close to the door gunner Cam. Cam's real name was Mac, which everyone remarked was too cliché for this line of work thanks to Hollywood. He fit the part, though, being the stern-faced silent type. Like Serrano, he was in business mode. He was not here for laughs. He was here to kick ass and pump lead. Now pay attention. Do we have to? Weston, the demolitions expert, asked. As long as you're stuck in this bird with me, you may as well enjoy the entertainment, Jarman said. Beats looking at pictures of your kids all day. Weston folded up his little pocketbook. In it were kid photos of his two young boys, both of whom were now adults.